Hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome back to this amazing video of today. As you must be aware, we are we are receiving new equipment to the Dehensis Lab and it's my idea with those videos to show you the main features, a hand-on experience of those new devices. And here today, I want to introduce one very important equipment, and in this case is a passive proof, that is, it will be connected to the digital oscilloscope. Well, today the objective is to present those features of the Rigol, that is the Chinese manufacturer Rigol, and the device that I am introducing is the PBP3150 and this is a passive proof that we will be using. But before I start the proper video, let me introduce about Dehensis Lab. Dehensis Lab is under transformation at this moment. Dehensis Lab is becoming in a global initiative for research development and innovation. And in the Dehensis Lab, we are doing research in, <coughs> in the Dehensis Lab, we are doing research in different areas. Dehensis, la Dehensis Lab means Digital Energy System Labs. And in this laboratory, one of the key activities is digital real-time simulation. But digital real-time simulation considering the approach of hardware in the loop. So as a consequence, we need to exchange signals between the digital real-time simulator and the physical hardware, the physical device. That physical device can be one of those beautiful protection relays that you can see here in this slide but also it can be controllers, it can be controllers like governors or even exciters, AVRs and so on. And for that reason, those analog signals, we, 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 need, we, need, we need to record, we need to record those signals in order to get information from there. The oscilloscope is a very important device and remember, we have this um, digital oscilloscope for channels that will allow us to record the signals in a very interesting way with four channels working at the same time. If you want to learn more about this very important research, innovation and development initiative, well, Dehensis Lab has a website. You can go here to the link that is presented at the very bottom and following that link, you will go to the website. If you want to collaborate, if you want to work with us, if you want to visit the lab, please just email us and contact us. OK, we are open for collaborations with everyone around the world. But today the job is to introduce this Rigol PBP3150. As you can see, I am presenting here a photo with the two passive proof immediately after I open the bots. As you can see, we have here in black color, we have the two prof, and at the same time, we have a user manual for the PBP3150 and also some additional components some of them are used on very important tasks as the calibration. And in this photo, I try to highlight some of the very useful parts, okay? As you can see, one of the terminal of the proof, it's connected to the oscilloscope using the classical connector, the BNC type connector. And the other terminal of them is going to what we call the hook tip. And the hook tip is basically a retractable ho uh, hook tip that has a spring and as a consequence you can mechanically connect or attach this proof to the measurement point. Here there is a very important component, this is the slide switch. And the slide switch is basically 
a selector that allow us to define the attenuation of the signals. On the other hand, we have here the ground alligator clip. The ground alligator clip ensure the safe grounding of the proof for safety operation and correct signal readings. And finally, inside this small bag, inside this plastic transparent bag, we will find several components, additional components. One of them is the plastic marker rings that you can put here in one of the locations near to the oscilloscope and the other one will be uh, located here at, the, uh, at this position at the proof. The color will allow the user to identify, clearly identify the signal at the oscilloscope because all oscilloscopes allow using traces with different colors and the colors match the rings that they are provided by the manufacturer Rigold. So it will be easy to identify the physical connection point of the, um, of the passive proof and at the same time identify the signal inside the oscilloscope. And finally, one very important device is this adjustment tool. This adjustment tool has one very small terminal here that we insert inside this very small hole and that is in order to calibrate the passive proof. In this video we are not calibrating the, the passive proof but in the next video we will explain the reason that we need to calibrate the proof. That is one of the, or, or the first step that you need to do when you receive a brand new proof. Well, without further details, I would like to invite you to the lab in order that we can get more information about this proof. And I will spend a few minutes just showing you with my own hands this very interesting passive proof coming from Rigol model PVP3150. Okay, well, in my previous video, I was showing you some of the basic feature of the digital oscilloscope, the four, cha the four channel digital oscilloscope, the brand new that we got here at the lab. But of course, oscilloscope requires some proof. And in this case, I would like to show you the mm, specific passive proof that we got for the oscilloscope. Again, we are using the same manufacturer. We are using here the Chinese uh, manufacturer Recall. And in this case, in front of you, what you have is the user manual of the PVP3150 passive proof. Okay. This is the classical scope or oscilloscope proof that we will be using. Of course, we have here the terminal going to the oscilloscope. And over here, we have the terminal that is going to uh, record the measurements or to the measurement point, okay? Specifically to the measurement point. And if we look over here, we have the classical, we, ca we have the classical mm, clamp or the classical hook tip that allow us to mechanically connect to a measurement point and we keep the connection using a small spring inside of this, okay? But also we have the traditional, the traditional way to record the measurements with this small point over here, like a needle. And of course, let me put back here, we have a small clamp or in some countries they call this alligator that is basically to connect to connect what we call what we call the mm, grounding clip alligator or the clamp for the grounding okay here on the body of this proof you can see that there is a, a slide switch and that slide switch is very very important because it will use uh, it will define the attenuation ratio okay in this case, we have the position on the top. You can see over here, it's one or multiplying by one and here multiplying by 10. And basically below that, you can see a very small hole and inside that there is a small screw that we use in order to um, 
in order to calibrate, in order to adapt the proof compensation. In this case, this, this small uh, screw over there is used to, for the frequency compensation. All of you must be aware that when we get a brand new proof and we are connecting this to also a brand new oscilloscope, well, we need to check the frequency compensation of the proof and adjust it to match the oscilloscope use, okay? Also, mm, this, this proof is equipped with those rings over here, color rings, they are plastic, but those color rings allow you to easily identify the channel that you are using and where this channel is connected from the measurement point of view. And that is quite, quite useful, okay? Well, in this video, I have been talking about this proof and also this, this proof is coming with some additional components. You can see the small plastic bag over here and you can see the different, the different plastic colors ring that we can use for identifying the proof, but also this small screw that is used for the frequency compensation. And that is the job for the next video because those proofs are brand new, the oscilloscope is brand new, and we need to make that the frequency compensation will be the best for those devices and we can take proper measurements.